Dr. Horowitz, does Peter Strzok like the president? Um, I can only speak to what his text messages say, and they're obviously not positive comments about the president. February, March of 2016, Peter Strzok said, Trump's abysmal. Trump's an idiot. He's a bleeping idiot. Hillary should win 100 million to zero. Sounds to me like he hates the president. His text messages would certainly leave that as the implication. Your report says Strzok ran the Clinton investigation on a daily basis. Is that accurate? Uh, that's correct. And Peter Strzok, in your report, uh, he was the lead investigator on the Russian investigation. Is that true? That's my understanding for the time period he was on. So the guy, he ran the Clinton investigation, he runs the Russian investigation, and he hates the president, but your report says while his bias cast a cloud, it didn't impact final decisions. Is that accurate? It didn't impact the prosecutor's final decision. Right. Let's look at a few other things Peter Strzok had to say. On May 4th, 2016, the day after President Trump secures the Republican nomination, Mr. Strzok says now the pressure really starts to finish the Clinton investigation. I'm not sure why the pressure would be more or less the day after. It seems to me you want to just do the investigation. On July 31st, as I mentioned earlier, the FBI opens the Russian investigation. One week later, Peter Strzok says, I can protect my country on many levels. Two days after that, he says, we will stop Trump. One week after that, he says, no way he gets elected. It's like an insurance policy. So think about this, Mr. Horowitz. Peter Strzok opens, the FBI opens the Russia investigation on July 31st, 2016. Peter Strzok is the lead investigator. Within the next 15 days, he says, I can protect my country on many levels. No way he gets elected. We will stop him. We have an insurance policy. Now, that seems like, at least I think a lot of regular folks would interpret that as more than just casting a cloud on what the FBI ultimately did. I mean, it's one thing to say Trump's an idiot. It's another thing to say we got an insurance policy. It's one thing to say Trump's awful. It's another thing to say we're going to stop him, especially when those statements are made within 15 days, just days after you've launched an investigation into that individual. Would you agree? Um, and I think the important thing here is the time period we're talking about because those messages in the July-August period, which we found extremely concerning and antithetical to the core values of the FBI, um, concerned, as we noted, the Russia investigation, and as you noted. Um, and that's why we had so much concern about what occurred in late September and October. Exactly. Uh, Mr. Horowitz, was Peter Strzok put on special counsel Mueller's team? Uh, he was. So again, just to, the guy who hates the president, the guy who ran the Clinton investigation, the guy who ran the Russian investigation then gets assigned to the special counsel team. Do you, know what, uh, do you know what date, Mr. Horowitz, the special counsel was named? I believe it was around May 17th. May 17th, 2017. May 17th, 2017. Mr. Horowitz, do you remember what Peter Strzok said on May 18th, 2017? I, I do. It's in our report on page 405. I unleashed it on the mid-year exam, this one? Mm -hmm. Yes. Now I need to fix it and finish it. There's unfinished business, and this could be an investigation leading to impeachment. That's what he said the day after? Correct. Again, don't you think that sounds and looks a little bit like to regular Americans, a little bit more than just casting a cloud on the overall investigations? Again, I'd go back to what the report concerned, which was the Clinton email investigation, which um, was concluded about a year earlier with Director Comey's announcement. But it's precisely why we were concerned about what occurred in late September and October when Mr. Strzok had the choice between working on the Russia investigation right. or on the Wiener laptop Clinton investigation. He was prioritizing one over the other. Russia. Yeah. Um, let me just finish with this. And, and this is probably what bothers me. More, more than all of what we just went through, this, more than that, probably what bothers me the most is Peter Strzok's attitude. Um, I think it's what bothers Americans the most about this whole ordeal. I just want to go to one more text message that one more thing Mr. Strzok said. This is back in that August time period again. August 26, 2016, Peter Strzok says, just went to a Southern Virginia Walmart. I can smell the Trump supporters. This is what, this is what ticks Americans off more than anything else I'm convinced about. All this in Clinton investigation, all this Russian investigation is this idea that there are, there, there are two sets of rules or two standards. 
one set of rules for us regular folk who shop at Walmart, but a different set if your name is Clinton, Comey, Lynch, McCabe, or if your name is Peter Strzok. And the arrogance and the condescension and the elitist attitude, that is what, that is what ticks people off. And as they look at all this and see what Strzok said throughout these investigations, that's why their confidence is so shaken, and frankly, that's why they're so mad. Um, and that's why we got to get some answers from Mr. Rosenstein and Mr. Ray about this, about this whole ordeal. With that, I yield back.